Cigarette smoking is the leading cause of preventable deaths in the United States. A big reason why is because the smoke from cigarettes contains over 7,000 toxic chemicals. Can you imagine how this affects the major organs of the human body? In this video, we are going to go through all the major organs and systems of the body and discuss how they are affected by smoking. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Before we get into all the medical stuff, just know that we are not doctors. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. Please speak with your doctor for medical advice and treatment. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go through all the major systems and organs of the body to see how they're impacted when a person smokes cigarettes over time. First and foremost, let's talk about the respiratory system. Over time, smoking causes inflammation in the lungs which constricts the airways and makes it more difficult to breathe. It destroys the alveoli, which are the tiny sacs in the lungs that help distribute oxygen to red blood cells so that it can be transported to other parts of the body. Smoking is a direct cause of COPD, aka chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and of course is a cause of lung cancer as well. How does smoking affect the cardiopulmonary system? Smoking is especially harmful to the heart and blood vessels. Over time, it causes damage that increases your risk of atherosclerosis, which is a disease that causes the arteries to harden and narrow due to the buildup of plaque. This ultimately reduces the flow of oxygen-rich blood to organs and other parts of your body. Smoking is a major risk factor for heart disease, especially when it's combined with other risk factors. Studies show that people who smoke are at an increased risk for heart attack and stroke as well. Even light smoking and secondhand smoke can cause damage to the heart and blood vessels. How does smoking affect the immune system? The immune system is the body's way of protecting itself and is naturally strong in most people. With that said, smoking definitely puts a strain on it. Cigarette smoke irritates the lung tissue and makes smokers more susceptible to conditions such as pneumonia and bronchitis. Not only that, a weakened immune system makes you more susceptible to viruses and bacterial infections as well, such as colds, the flu, and serious conditions such as cancer. How does smoking affect the reproductive system? Many women who smoke experience fertility problems and find it difficult to get pregnant. Some women smokers who are successful in getting pregnant are at an increased risk of miscarriages and other complications. Smoking while pregnant drastically increases the risk of a number of complications in newborns because the chemicals from cigarettes interfere with fetal and postnatal development. But it's not only females who are affected. Smoking affects the reproductive system of men as well. A study found that smoking negatively affects sperm health and can even cause a decreased sperm count. Nicotine from cigarettes decreases blood flow to the reproductive areas of both men and women. Moving right along, how does smoking affect the kidneys? You may not have realized it, but yes, smoking even has negative effects on the kidneys as well, but it's in an indirect way. Smoking affects the medications that are used to treat high blood pressure and uncontrolled hypertension for an extended period of time is one of the leading causes of kidney disease. So to simplify things, smoking can contribute to high blood pressure, which ultimately can contribute to kidney disease. As previously mentioned, smoking decreases arterial blood flow to your organs, including the kidneys, which can negatively impact how they function. With that said, Stopping smoking helps reduce or eliminate these negative effects. How does smoking affect the nervous system? The nicotine in tobacco is a very addictive compound that affects the nervous system. When a person smokes, nicotine reaches the brain in a matter of seconds and acts as both a stimulant and depressant to the central nervous system. It causes a release of the hormones epinephrine and dopamine which leads to the feeling of pleasure and contentment that comes from smoking a cigarette. With that said, those feelings are very short-lived. Yeah, you may benefit from a brief boost after smoking a cigarette, 
but it will be followed by feelings of fatigue. This is what gives the smoker a craving for another cigarette, and this cycle is how people become so easily addicted to smoking. Moving right along, how does smoking affect your skin? The chemicals found in cigarette smoke can have detrimental effects on your skin. As previously mentioned, smoking causes narrowed arteries and decreased blood flow. When the blood flow is reduced, the skin cells receive less oxygen and nutrients. This loss of essential nutrients causes the skin to lose its shine and causes creasing to appear. Premature aging causes skin around and under the eyes to look wrinkled and older in appearance. Smokers also tend to develop yellow stains on their fingernails as well, but this will disappear over time after quitting. And while we're on the subject, now seems like a good time to talk about the effects it has on our hair as well because like the skin, smoking isn't going to do any favors for your hair either. Studies found that the chemicals in cigarette smoke, when inhaled, can contribute to hair loss. Similar to your skin, hair follicles suffer because of the slowing of blood circulation in the body that is caused by smoking. So if you want healthy skin and want healthy hair, then you probably shouldn't be smoking cigarettes. And another thing to consider is the smell. Even the most expensive shampoos cannot hide the cigarette smell that often lingers in the hair of smokers. Moving along, let's talk about how smoking affects your oral health. It should be noted that those who smoke cigarettes are more likely to suffer from dental problems such as bad breath, stained teeth, gum disease, a loss of taste and smell, increased plaque and tartar buildup, and an increased risk of oral cancer. Now, bad breath and stained teeth are caused by the tar and nicotine that are found in cigarettes. The more serious detrimental problems, such as gum disease and oral cancer, stem from reduced blood circulation to the mouth that is caused by smoking. It should also be noted that approximately 90% of those with cancer of the mouth or throat use or have used tobacco for a period of time. How does smoking affect your mental health? The majority of this video has been focused on how smoking affects the physical organs and system of the body. Just know that when you smoke, it affects you mentally as well. Smoking tends to cause relaxation in the short term, which temporarily reduces stress. This is one of the reasons it's so addicting. But with that said, ultimately, smoking increases level of tension and anxiety and increases the likelihood of depression over time. So if you smoke, you have to ask yourself, is the short-term boost worth the long-term detriments to your overall health? And as I said, it's not only your physical health, but your mental health as well. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit that like button and subscribe if you want to support the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you truly want to reduce your risk of the diseases and conditions that are associated with smoking cigarettes, all you have to do is never start smoking. Now, I realize that ship has already sailed for many of you, but the good news is, if you do already smoke, quitting now will benefit each of your body systems and much of the damage can be reversed. We actually have a video and detailed guide that goes deeper into this topic. I will drop links to it right below this video down in the description. Let's keep the discussion going. I want to know, are you a smoker? Did you quit? If so, how has that improved your overall quality of life? Let me know down in the comment section below. That's it for this one. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy my friend.